of the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, today I'm going to be teaching you guys the story of Jesus get baptized because our uh, has them guts. I'm going to be teaching you guys the story. So, after it was Christmas, Jesus grew up to a grown man. Well, like when he was a kid, he got lost by Mary and Joseph. And when he got lost, he was just sitting down and teaching others. Mary and Joseph founded him. And then they saw him just sitting down and teaching. And then they took Jesus out of the religious leaders. And the religious leaders told them, Mary and Joseph, who's this kid? And then they said, is our kid named Jesus, our son? They went and told them, why did you go there to Jesus? Jesus said, it's good to teach. And I'm going to teach you people that don't worship me. Then the... Then Jesus grew to a grown man, 40 years old, and then he went and got baptized by John, John the Baptist. He was baptizing every people. Jesus wanted to get baptized to get a blessing so he could bless other people that's like sick and stuff in the Bible. And then Jesus, uh, and then John saw Jesus. And then he said, why am I supposed to, and, what, and then he said, why am I supposed to baptize you? Because you are a God and I could not baptize the Lord of you. Jesus said, it is great. It is good to do this thing that I command. Then Jesus came in the water and got baptized by John. John was a very good man. After he baptized Jesus, he used to teach other people all about God. He even sits down on the rock and sees uh, grasshoppers and he didn't have any food so he decided to eat some grass grasshoppers. Even John was a very good man. He teaches the other people all about God, baptized God, even baptized other people. And after, after all this baptizing, the soldiers arrested John. And then they cut off his his head off from John and the next story I'm going to be teaching you guys is story of soldiers how, how they killed Jesus and even how, how they don't know what they're doing so the story is the first one that I'm going to be teaching you guys is the one when they don't know what they're doing so the soldiers re that killed Jesus really loved their God like they praised God, and then like when God came to to the to them, like they prepared dinner for him, like stuff. Um, they're very kind, like everything. They're very kind for Jesus. They prepare dinner and stuff for Jesus. They prepare wine for him when he's like tired. They prepare him like dinner and stuff. And then, when the soldiers were sitting down and praying, the devil came to them and told them to kill Jesus. And the soldiers said, how could I? I love Jesus and I worship him. And then, the devil put a bad spirit on the soldiers. And the soldiers decided to hate Jesus. They like literally standed up and then put their, and then the devil gave them a, a soldier costume. They put on their, their, their swords and their hat and their clothes and stuff. And they all got so much armies. And then when they were doing the last supper, and then when Jesus was praying and he woke them up, Judas was the one that was planning all this to the devil. He praised the devil. He hates God. And he told the devil to go do that to the soldiers. And then after, they walked to Jesus and then they arrested Jesus. Peter, the most, the boss of the disciples, cut it off the boy's ear and Jesus blessed the boy's ear because he didn't want Peter to kill the boy. Because when he cuts off the ear, the boy could be dead. Because 
or has with the, has the sword and sword can kill people that's not gonna be good so Jesus decided to bless the boy and then the boy was actually a soldier the one that Peter cut off his ear he was actually a soldier and he was even part of the plan to kill Jesus and then when he blessed it the boy when he he knew that Jesus was actually God and told the soldiers not to arrest Jesus, but they arrested him out of nowhere. Like he did, like they literally pushed at him and literally arrested Jesus. And then, after the crucifixion, you know, like with the soldiers, they, they don't know what they're doing. Like the crucifixion is inside their hearts, but they don't know what they're doing. And then after the crucifixion, Mary cried so bad and she fainted, like actually. And then the crucifixion after 